all the comments you're getting is, oh, you did another skull. It's heartbreaking. Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Nikki Tutorials has been receiving hate for her Halloween makeup look series for allegedly creating overdone makeup looks that is oversaturated here on YouTube. First of all, she came out with a stream of Snapchats explaining why she decided to end her series early. And this is what she had to say initially. So I just woke up and read some comments on my new video. And I'm noticing that some of you are disappointed in the amount of skulls I've done this year. Um, and that just brings me to, you know, as a content creator or just content creators in general, I feel like we're always trying to give you what you want and, and, and you know, just pleasure you in that way. And... The, the, the second you see that you failed giving someone that pleasure, um, to me, it almost feels like a heartbreak because I feel like such a failure and like I'm a complete loser. Um, that is sort of how I'm feeling right now because the Hello Kitty skull is not getting the reaction that I hoped it would get. Um, so honestly, I'm thinking of just removing it. And don't get me wrong, I personally love that look. It was one of my favorites to do. But when it isn't getting that reaction or when it isn't pleasing the people the way I wanted to please people, what do you do, you know? So I'm honestly thinking of just taking it off and, you know, taking the hit. But let me know what you think. If you haven't seen it, swipe up. But honestly, if you don't swipe up, I get it too. Halloween has been so much fun. I have been waking up pretty much every single day at five in the morning to get the videos to you. So to see that someone is saying that they're disappointed with me, that honestly breaks my heart because I put so much love and time and effort into it. But that's life, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Now, after having about a week off of YouTube with no more Halloween looks, she decided to come back onto Snapchat and explain why she's been gone and gave us a bit more clarity on the situation. Hey guys, I just wanted to clear something up. Um, yes, Halloween is over. Halloween ended on day six for me. Um, day six of me having, I think, 10 hours of sleep total in a week, um, waking up every day at five to work my ass off for the videos and then getting so much negative feedback on doing another skull look, it just, it, it kind of broke my heart. So for my mental health, um, I quit on day six. Maybe I should have been more vocal about that and not kept you hanging and waiting for day seven. I am coming out with a fun challenge to end the spooky season and to say hello to November. Um, but Hollow Week, unfortunately, is over. And I'm sorry if I disappointed you. And what we're not gonna do is take that the wrong way. Of course, yes, I promised seven videos. I only came out with six. But you gotta put yourself in my shoes a little bit here. You know, I, I woke up at five every day. I keep I keep saying that, but I spend hours upon hours coming up with content and coming up with looks and, and and trying, literally trying my hardest. And then all the comments you're getting is, oh, you did another skull. It's heartbreaking. So for me, for here, I was like, okay, six is enough. Literally can't do seven right now because I'm kind of heartbroken here. So I was like, I got to take a pause. Sometimes in life, all we got to do is take a pause. That doesn't mean I don't read your feedback or comments at all. I do. And I always, always try to better myself. So one thing I learned was that a lot of people were disappointed that it was seven makeup tutorials. I think a lot of people expected it to be more like Winter Wonder Week, where it's challenging. It's reviews, it's tutorials, it's like a whole bunch of mixes of, of videos. And as soon as people noticed that it was supposed to be seven, ended up six um, looks, they were like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> so, um, notes, 
written down for Winter Wonder Week. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this situation? Do you believe Nikki went overboard with the overseen makeup looks? Personally, I've never seen her create these looks in her entire YouTube career. I really like them and so did a lot of her fans. In fact, even the like to dislike ratio proved that. So I'm just very confused at this point as to why she decided to stop filming her series. It's very odd. But however, that's what we came here to investigate. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.